Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, it's like worth living. Should I blast myself? I'm tired of being poor and even worse, I'm black. My stomach hurts, so I'm looking for a purse to snatch. Cops give a damn about a need, bro. Pull a trigger, kill a nigga. He's a all eyes on me. He's a new movie directed by Benny Boom and it stars Demetrius Ship. And in this is his first acting debut as a legendary rapper Tupac. You know, people were stressing over the fact there hasn't been a Tupac movie. So they finally made a movie about Tupac. And this movie is pretty much all about his life. Rapping. But how well does this movie do when it comes to his history? It doesn't really do a good job at presenting his history, his origin story. When I was watching this movie, this movie feels like a B movie, like a movie you'll see on BET or VH1 or or Lifetime. <laughs> I was watching this film and I was just mind boggled about how how this film was directed and how each scene transitioned to the next scene, and it was pretty much a B movie. The first part of the movie was about Tupac, he's being interviewed, every, and then every single scene felt like it was episodic, where it had this moment of his life, and then straight to the interview, this moment of his life, and then straight to the interview. It took me out of the movie a little bit, where I was just questioning, what movie am I watching? Am I watching a actual biopic, or am I just watching an episode of Zack and Cody? Demetrius Ship asked Tupac, his performance was okay. I mean, this is his first acting debut. I mean, his performance as Tupac wasn't, wow, oh my god, the best acting performance ever. Oh my god, no, it wasn't. It was just okay. It was okay. He did the best he could, but, you know, he didn't really deliver a guy, you know, deliver. I just, but he did look like Tupac, but still, I just couldn't buy him as Tupac. I mean, he was Tupac's doppelganger, but he was not the perfect match for... Tupac. Like O'Shea Jackson, who was in Straight Outta Compton, who played Ice Cube. Yes, he looked like Ice Cube, but also he had the acting chops to to be Ice Cube. To this guy, he has the look to be Tupac, but he doesn't quite have the acting chops to be Tupac. I would say he should have brought back Anthony Mackie, maybe. Now the performances in this movie was just mad to okay. None of the and that's one of the things that took me out of this movie. Like none of the performance was gave me a wow factor. Straight out of Compton. When I was watching Straight Out of Compton, I had the wow factor. You had four, five, six actors giving out great performances. I'm watching these real life people on screen. And that's why I felt like watching Straight Out of Compton. Same way for Notorious, but for all eyes on me. I kind of want to close my eyes on this on this shit. Now, the one of the things they did get right with this movie, they did get right the soundtrack. The music in this movie was good. They, they, they played some of Tupac's music, his memorable music. But somewhere in this movie, there could this there could have been a very good movie. A very good movie somewhere in this film. But it had so many, so many things cluttered. It had potential to be great, but it's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack while you're riding a horse while you're blindfolded. That's how hard it was. I feel like Denai Gurry had the best performance in this whole entire movie. I think I said her I think I said her name right. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I don't ah but she had the best performance in this whole entire movie. And to me, I feel like she could be the next Foyola Davis. I know you're laughing at me, but I'm going with that shit. Yeah, I have to give this movie a Michael Keaton Batman. This is an okay film. This is an eh film. Eh, 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 eh. It had potential, but that potential was just scattered around. You know, I was hoping to get a LeBron James, but I ended up getting a, a Adam Morrison. So, that's my review for All Eyes on Me. So, guys, check. Have you seen this movie? Give me your thoughts on this movie. Leave a comment below. What's your favorite rapper biopic? And also, I have a review for Cars 3 coming your way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao. When I was young, me and my mama had beef. 17 years old, kicked out on the streets. Though back at the time, I never thought I'd see a face. Ain't a woman alive that could take my mama's place.